really enjoyed some of the debate today because it's a question that we're always asking um, within our own business um, because we invest a lot of money in the Informed Sport programme. Um, but it's something that's been very core to our brand in terms of um, making sure that we can offer uh, as much um, assurance, assurance as possible to our customers, particularly athletes who sponsor um, that our products are safe from banned substances. Um, and so I think it's um, really interesting if we can talk about trying to bring together um, a harmonised approach really uh, within Europe so that people can recognise a kite mark and know that it's gone through a certain level of testing um, and it's not just you know as we've talked today it's not just about testing the end product it's about all the checking that goes on prior to that to make sure that we're working with the right manufacturers the right suppliers of ingredients and that we're not going to get any surprises that will catch us out. David Hall's done a really good job of, of bringing together a very wide audience of people so we've had um, opinions from a, you know a great diverse group of people and it's been very interesting to sort of hear um, different aspects particularly Henry's as a personal you know as an athlete um, just sort of it came across very strongly just the anxiety that you feel in terms of making sure that you're not taking something into your body that you shouldn't be and sort of really feeling that tension all the time um, and certainly it's been you know it's just been very good to sort of go away um, with a lot of different messages I think that um, the one thing that has been quite difficult is to actually sort of pull together where do we go next with this um, but I think there was one thing that came across to me was probably around the testing doing um, label testing to make sure that what's actually on the label is, is what's in there and that would certainly be something of interest for us to explore as business.